So the general goal of our lab is to understand the locomotion aspect of animals. And recently we are focusing on quadruped, four-legged animals, and we try to understand how how they efficiently uh, run on the field and nature, so that we can take that inspiration and then use in our engineering world. So, for example, we can create a prosthetic legs out of that technology, and, or, or you can even make a new transportation, replacing cars, so that you don't need a road in, the, in our world. Chira is the fastest uh, four-legged animal in the world, and then we would like to make our robot run fast like a Chira. When we started to build our robot, we started to look at Chira's motion and apply the, its principles to our mechanical version of Chira. Currently, our robot Chita can run up to 10 miles per hour and jump over 33 centimeter high obstacle. So previously, uh, most legged robots are powered by internal combustion engine and then hydraulic transmission. And yeah, those are very noisy and very inefficient. But people believe that uh, internal combustion engine and hydraulics are the only way to make a leg robot run and uh, support itself. People believe that electric motors are not powerful enough. So this is the first time we show that electrically powered robot can run and jump over a foot tight obstacles. Animal is a quadruped robot uh, that walks um, kind of like an animal. It has a bunch of onboard sensing and computing similar to the drone. It can operate autonomously and uh, sense and react to its environment and navigate through challenging terrains um, such as uh, negotiating stairs. In this disaster scenario for the demonstration, it uh, followed a path through the environment that was planned for it in order to be safe and efficient so that the ground robot could reach a victim as fast as possible. A user can wear two armbands that have sensors in them and give the robot high-level commands like move over there or look that direction. In a rescue scenario, it would allow the operators with minimal training to be able to control the robots in an easy and efficient way.
there's only a few robots that are even close to Cassie as far as being able to dynamically walk around. Having only two legs is a much more complicated problem that we don't fully understand yet as compared to four legs. You know, a biped, and you can think of a two-legged table, is not going to be very stable, so there's a lot you have to do there. You really have to move your feet around. If you think about any sort of disaster scenario where they say, do we have any robots that can go into this space? The answer is always, not yet. Imagine you've got a fire in a building and the fire chief isn't really sure if somebody's still in the building. And they have to make a difficult decision about whether they're gonna send one of their firefighters in. Is this dangerous? If you have a robot, that has the same capabilities as a person. You wouldn't think twice about sending that robot. So that's my guiding star, is putting this out into the world and making something actually useful.